wind down right now. You want to position yourself that you have home field advantage. If you get into this one game wild card game, one of these two teams would love to host that game at home. A ball and two strikes to Anthony Rizzo. I know he got a swinging miss right there, but that was a hittable location to a really good hitter. I don't know if he gets those back if he continues to miss in those spots. Got him. So here's how the Washington Nationals are positioned defensively. And let's take a look at Carlos Correa. I had an old friend say to me one time, this is what they look like. And this is exactly what it looks like. The ability to play gold glove defense and hit in the middle of the order. I smell a potential Hall of Fame career. And he misses inside That's with inside. that one. Ball one. They laid off, but in there for strike one. That's a real good job of going back-to-back -back fastballs right there. Most of the time, a hitter will see a fastball in the inside half of the plate, and they'll just think, well, this pitcher's going to go back on the outside. But when you double up like he did right there, it sends a message to the hitter that you're not afraid to throw in that inner half of the plate. No score here as we play inning number two. up Correa waits on it to God batting deck third baseman Chris Bryant here's Chris Bryant now and he's looking to snap out of what's been a rather dry spell at the plate he's ready here's the first offering that's a good. neck high fastball that time. All one, no strike. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Now the 2 0. -oh. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And trouble it is. It's down for extra bases. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. No mistake what he was Got sitting on. Fastball, Second middle of the plate, kept his Four hands three. back, stayed on oh, baseball, yeah. and delivers a hard hit line drive. Here comes the first pitch. Whoa, Wouldn't right bite there. on a good sinker that time that missed. Avilas. A Venezuelan-born ball player. He's in his third season as a major league player. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Bryant stands at second with two gone. Hey. Fastball called strike. One and two. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. The one two. The bouncer down the line. That goes foul, so a good job to fight it off and stay alive. The one two pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Working for the punch out and the offering. Uh, just trying to please him with the fastball there. Pretty close. It's two and two. And he lays off the pitch off the plate and high. Three and two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. He spoils another one and will do it again. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. Hit on the ground to third. Throw in the He's dirt, out. but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Danger averted following the two out double. Through an inning and a half. No score on MLB Network. 
Here's Brian Dozier now. He comes into this one sixth in the Leading National up, League in home runs. Second baseman, Brian Dozier. First pitch on its way. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1 0. Line toward the alley in left center. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. That base hit was screaming off the bat, and our show track technology more than confirms it. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity of that line drive. So striding forward now, Jesus. Pora comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's program. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Grounded foul for the coaching box in third. on the wild pitch. The one two. And fouls this one off. When you have two strikes on you as a hitter, if you get something that you can handle, you have to find a way to do some damage. That was a missed opportunity. Popped him up. Avilas calls for it. One down. So here's how the Chicago Cubs are positioned defensively. And let's take a look at Chris Bryant down in third base today playing the hot corner. And he's a guy that can move around. The manager can put him in the outfield, but his home is at third base. He's got the arm to get it done, a strong arm. He can go behind the bag and make big time plays and a nice soft hands. First delivery to him on the way. One oh. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at bat. It's ball one. Looking at his career totals, VR hits in the 240s, so there's room for improvement in that regard. You know, Matty, I know his career batting average jumps off no. the page, but this guy can help the roster in a lot of different ways. He brings value to the manager on a daily basis. 2 0 home. A swing and a miss, strike one. No score here, but a potential run is 90 feet away with one gone. Now a soft liner towards first. Oh, look at the sliding stop. He's a wow. That was, wow. That was a great That's job it. to rob him of an RBI single. Showed some great athleticism, and it winds up being an RBI ground out instead. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate. And he'll take Count a look at ball up. one. He'll try and start things over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground ball. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Back with one and third as the count moves to two and one now. Two out, nobody on. The count now at two and two. Rizzo into foul territory. And foul. Here now the two-two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Avilas onto the grass. And that retires the side. 
sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Welcome back to baseball on MLB Network from Nationals Park in D.C. Set to go now in the third. Leading off the cup. plate, Rod Catherine. McCormick. He'll stand Rod in to open McCormick. things up here in the third. First offering on its way. That's a ball. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Washington miss outside 2 0 oh now. He has a cut at that one, but misses 2 and 1. Lifted down the line in left. That will end up a foul ball. Here now the 2 2. Will not catch the zone. Ball three. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. Rounded down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Again, he sends it out of play. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Hey, I'm biased to the hitter right now. Keep frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these things off. He's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point. Finally, just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first down. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You can just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. I mean, he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Behind 0 and 2 now. Oh, that's a foul ball. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Oh, this right. is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Into the box, William Bauer. And the first pitch ball misses one, to him. It's ball one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. The 1 0. Misses, ball two. two. Well, here's a guy we know is swinging it pretty well at the plate lately. And based on those last two pitches, I think I know why. He's doing a great job of putting himself in counts where he's likely to be successful. Hit the other way out toward right field. Chavez is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They trail this one. One. So stepping in, Joseph Crawford. Leading He'll lead things Washington. off here in this one-run contest. Joseph Crawford. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. The wind up and the 0 1. This one's down to third. Bryant is up with it. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. 
Up next for Washington, left fielder, William Alston. So striding in, William Alston. He reached on a single in his first try. First delivery to him on the way. To the left side, but it's well fouled. The 0 1 on its way. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. The next 0-2 is taken. One That's ball, ball one. Right. Bases are empty. One man out. And he lays off a ball. pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Dude, Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The right best builder, ones have that late action builder. that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Standing in now, Felipe Chavez. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Welch is there, and the inning is over. Nationals gone in order, but they hold a 1-0 lead. So digging in now, Micah Welch. He's over for the one thus far. Right fielder, Micah Welch. First pitch coming, here it is. Strike. Zero. Fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. Yeah, Matty, not only is this guy using all four quadrants, he's elevating, getting their eye level up with a quality fastball. Now the pitch. In tight there as he's got to turn out of the way of that one. Well, I'll tell you, he's not hitting over 300 by luck. He really knows the strike zone and his own strengths. That last take is a great example. Swing and a hot shot toward third. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Dan, you have to love it when your defense picks you up right there, keeping him at first. Well, you know, that looked like it had extra bases written all over. Great job by the left fielder to get to that ball and get the ball back in, keeping that to a single. It comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Nope. And that That's misses inside 1 0. These are the moments in the game that can sway it one way or another while you get a W or a loss right here. Leadoff man on, part of the order coming up. Guy out on oh, the this guy's work cut out for him. A two ball, no strike count to the Cubs center fielder. Now a throw over, oh, he's and he's back easily. In there, two and one. Hey, you get 2 0, your eyes light up, but you're sitting in one spot. He obviously didn't get it right there. But he still finds himself in a 2-1 count, ready to do some damage. A little three. too tall that time. 3-1 now. Strike. Waiting next is Anthony Rizzo. Hey. It's up to a 3-2 full count now. Helpful. No walks yet. Here's the delivery down the third baseline. Pop high in the air. Dozier has a play. Makes the play one away. First baseman number 44, Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Hey. 
A high fastball is in there. Hey, that's got to throw the batter's game plan off a little bit. He thinks sinker's coming. Double play situation. He gets the ordinary fastball. He's got to be thinking one what's ball, coming one next. One and one, the count to the Cubs' first baseman. A one one home. Fouled off. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Popped him up. VR in foul ground. He's got it, and there are two down now. How about it? Left fielder, Corey Dickerson. Digging in to try it again. Corey Dickerson. He popped out in his first trip. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Popped straight up. Correa over to his right, and that retires the side. One left for the Cubs. It remains 1 0. Back with Mark DeRozan, Dan Pleasak, Matt Baskerson as the Puerto Rican Arcana. sensation and former Arlo. number one overall pick, Carlos Correa, gets set to start the inning. Here comes the first pitch. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. up the line and they will get no he's in there a very close play at first I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher standpoint but nice execution nice hustle bottom line nice hustle pitcher still one good pitch away from getting a double play you know Dero one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher and there's not much you can do right there you make a pretty good pitch and the next thing you know you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball in now Frank Overton as he yeah, looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one Two and zero oh to the National Center fielder. Two and zero. Oh. Remember, he was a strikeout victim last time up, but this at bat seems to be a totally different direction. He's showing good patience now, and he's got a real good count at two and zero. Oh. Two zero oh count, the pitch, and it's fouled away. Little guessing game going on right now. Being late on that fastball after the change, he had to be sitting off speed right there. Now the two one pitch. He pulls this one into right. And that's in there. Base hit. That's the cat and mouse of the game right there. You find yourself out leverage. You think you're getting here. You think there's an off-speed pitch and you're still able to execute. That fires me up right there. Here's Brian Dozier now. And he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Looking up is Elmora. And this one is gone. A home run. about how an inning can get away from you, right? Three-run homer already in this inning. They've yet to give up an out, and this could turn out to be one of those really ugly innings. Stepping in now, Jesus Cora. First pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Side, it's one and two. 
after two breaking pitches a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing at. So if you're looking well, for it go ahead and turn that baby loose. Count even at two and two. Here now the two two. It's taken for the ball as that slider broke off the plate. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Soft liner to the left side. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Hey, they don't all have to be beautiful. They just have to be base hit. Number five. That's exactly what that was. Got Soft it. Into the box now. Jonathan Villar swings and sends it in the air out to left center. Dickerson comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. The catcher number 35. Into the box now. Pedro Severino fly down in his first at bat, so making 0 for 1 so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Liner towards second. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. A pitcher number 36, Joseph Crawford. Digging in now, Joseph Crawford. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here comes the first pitch. That's a and fastball just a bit Counts high. Three runs already home here. High fly ball after straightaway center. Waiting on it is Almora. And that's the third out. But the Nationals strike for three, all coming via this three run home run. We're through four. Now with the plate, Chris Bryant, for the one for one. There's he reached Hayman. base with a double his Brandon. first time up. Bryant. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. First offering on its way. Sinker runs oh, outside to start the at bat 1 and 0. I'll tell you these guys seem well aware that this is a must win situation for both of them. They know they're not going to have the luxury of falling back on a wild card bird. You know Dero you get late into the season like this and you really have to keep your concentration not only on the mound but in the batter's box. You're starting to get a little bit tired and you see the schedule starting to come to an end. Yeah Dan I'm with you. It becomes mental right now. Physically everybody's hurting a little bit. You can grind it out when you know you have a chance at the postseason. Mentally, you've got to stay focused. Alston is there and he'll bring this one in. Second baseman, Jose Avila. Now at the plate, Jose Avilas. First pitch coming, here it is. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. Good. Zero. Oh, and two now. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. Grounded back up the middle. Stopped on the slide by Dozier. Oh, it's in time. But wow, Kevin, what a great show nine. of range there. This Ryan, ball looked like it might get through up the middle, but check out the sliding stop, and that's going to take him right into a good throwing position where he's able to get enough on the throw to get him out at first. Standing in now, Rod McCormick. As oh. he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The 
windup and the 1 0 pitch. Uh, great pitch there caught in reaching. It's 1 and 1. 1 and 1. The 1 1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Chavez on the move. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Cubs are down in order. They're down 4 0. So the Nats lineup turns over and to the plate, William Alston, who looked to bounce back after William striking out Alston. last time up. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Soft liner towards short. And he'll turn and fire a desperation yeah. throw to first. Close play at first, but a great stretch right that time as they get him by a step for out number one. But hold on here now. He jumped out of that dugout in a hurry. He might ask for that out pole to be reviewed. Yeah, definitely one of those bang-bang plays. And looking at it right here again, I still don't know if I can tell for sure. Going to be interesting to see what they decide to do here. a thumbs up from the bench so they will challenge the call on the field so the umpires on replay duty in Manhattan will now review the play from all available angles in order to make the final Ladies decision and gentlemen, the Nationals have elected to all right we'll take one last product. look at it here the question is is there enough video evidence to change the call to safe and wow from that look at it I think he did beat that throw this challenge might work out for him the decision appears to have been made as the headset comes off and the runner is safe. So the call is overturned. The runner will stay at first base and they maintain the right to challenge further plays going forward. Into the box, Felipe Chavez. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. So it's a two-run shot to right center. Number 21 for him on the season. And they pile on. It's now six to nothing. Hey, that's one of the toughest parts about standing out there on the bump giving up a long home run or giving up a bomb at any time as a pitcher you just have to regroup and get back on that horse fastball here no balls in a strike one ball is already left the yard and the big boys haven't even come up again get the fireworks ready Line drive to center field. Almora has to run straight back, but he has it for the first down. Now batting, center fielder, Frank Overton. Stepping in, Frank Overton. He's one for two in the ball game. First pitch of the at-bat. There's a strike. When one. you dive into the numbers in this start, it's hard to believe that this guy's pitching as poorly as he has. Over 70% of his first pitches have been for strikes, but yep, a lot of those out. have been right down the middle, right into the hitting zone. 1-1. So one, 1-2 one. One now. Six runs, eight hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Oh, fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. The second baseman, number two, Brian Dozier. So coming to the plate, Brian Dozier. He went deep to the tune of a three-run job his last time up. First offering on its way. High in the air out to center field. Waiting on it is Almora. And that ends the inning. Nats pick up a pair in the inning on this two-run home run. We're through five here this afternoon.
Anthony Rendon will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the Number sixth. Number 12, Anthony Rendon. a look at one catching the outside corner. He's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Fouled away. I think that's one of the toughest calls for an umpire to make. The check swing appeal, hitters rarely feel like they went, and I don't think he likes getting rung up there by the first base umpire. But looking at it, it's hard to say for sure that he didn't go around. Stepping in now, William Bauer. As he lays off one the fastball too low for ball one. No hits to this point. It's laid off for ball two. No runs, two hits, no errors so far for the Cubbies. The 2 1. Doesn't hit the target, it's ball three. I know this team has been struggling offensively, but here's a perfect situation with a 3-1 count. You have a chance to do some damage. You know you're getting a guaranteed fastball. Hit down the line at first. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have this lineup My off balance. Well, Even when he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. The next hub up, Micah Welch. And then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business. But I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. So they go down without a whimper here. Sixth, seventh, and eighth place. Smiley gets the call to pitch now here, and he'll try to up. sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Riding in, Jesus Cora. He singled his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Moving under it, Welch. And that's the first out of the inning. The batter, third baseman, Jonathan. Digging in, Biar. Jonathan Villar. He flew out in his last at bat. Smiley's ready. First pitch on its way. Swing and a high pop-up. And this is taken in for the second out. The captain, number Pedro Severino digs in at the plate. Both for two from him so far in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Aye. High fastball is in there. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right-hander has begun to get loose. Right, 0 and 2. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Washington. They lead it 6 zip. Back here at Nationals Park. Nationals on top in this one as we get ready for the seventh. The first. Leading out for the Cubs. 
center fielder, number five, Albert Albor. First pitch of the at bat. And that oh, one just missed out. outside. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. On the ground to third. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. First base for number 44, Anthony Rizzo. In now, Anthony Rizzo, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First offering on its way. Hey. Breaking ball that time in for a strike. No one's the count. Here it comes on nothing and two. Swing and a hard hit ball down the line in right. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Well, you know what? Good hitters are good hitters for a reason, Nero. To be able to hang in there on an 0 2 pitch and still be able to get a base hit, this guy's about as good as it gets. Yeah, I'm blown away by this guy. Again. You wouldn't know if you showed up. You wouldn't know if it's 2 0, 3 1, 0 2. Counts do not matter. This guy trusts in his breath. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And he fouls this one off. Here's the 0 and 2. Hit on the ground to third. The Dozier for 1. And a good save at first on the offline throw, so they just get the 1. Well, he definitely rushed How himself on that return throw at first there, and he threw it away. Right. They got the force at second, and the runner didn't advance, so it'll just be scored a fielder's choice. Here's Chris Bryant now. He'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. He's working on a 1-for-2 game so far. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Ridley while he was still in AAA. And what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year, MVP. I mean, get me on. Well, I'm shocked he even pulled the trigger on that pitch. He might have been pulled right there, but he was able to keep his hands back and scramble a good pitch for the base hit. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Avilas. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Zero. Couldn't wait back. A swing and a miss. We're moving right along into this one. This guy's continuing to pitch well, which is a little bit of a surprise because his first pitch strike ratio is still under 60%. Behind 0 and 2 now. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. I got to count one and sinker misses at the shoe tops. Ball one. Dickerson on second. Bryant on at first with two down. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Alston has a beat on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Cubs strand a couple. They won't make a dent in a six-to-nothing deficit. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Joseph Crawford. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned the chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Into the corner and slicing foul.
wind up and the 0 1. Fouled off. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And the throw is there to record the first down. So the batting order turns over now William and set to go. Alston. William Alston. Here's the first pitch to him. Softly hit here to the left side. And a base hit into left field, so they've got themselves a one-out base run. Hey, Dero, not a bad night. Three right singles, but hey, we'll take three for four every day of the week. Yeah, today's day in the Hitting three at bats to this point. The last at bat, Matty B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Two and, oh. and a neck high fastball that time. When you're down six on the mound, you got at least throw strikes here. The 2 0. -oh. Finds the zone, strike one. Runner at first here, one man out. Three Ooh, balls and a strike to the Nationals left fielder. Carlos Correa waits on deck. Smiley comes set, 3-1 on his way. And nope. he lays off nope. here, a nice job, it's ball four. First and the second now with one away. Correa. Standing in, Carlos Correa is working on a one for three thus far. The set and the pitch. There's one well above the zone for a ball. Runners are at first and second with one away. He pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. A good knee high changeup one taken ball, for a strike. Two strike. strike fastball down in the zone but he was able to get wood on it and foul it away and another foul ball the one two and a swing and a ball stop foul right at home plate One, two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Welch has it in his tracks. He makes the play. Runner tags and hits for third. And the tag's there. He's out at third base. It's a double play. And just like that, the inning is over. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors in one. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Rod McCormick. He'll start things out for us here in inning number eight. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. One home. 
is in there for the second strike. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. Doesn't offer at the circle change there, and it goes full three and two. Time to be alert for signs of tiring here in the eighth. He's a pitch away from 100. Man, I love this right now. He's given it everything he has, given this team depth, allowing the manager to fix the serious matchups when it comes to going for the bullpen there. Boy, you nailed that, Hero. Now you can go to your go-to guys, the troubleshooters, the guy you want to bring into close games. Any time a starter can get you through seven innings, the eighth inning gets a bonus. A job well done so far. Jason Hayward moving into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gun in the inning. the slur there, 1-0. And, oh. and he's got that batting line up near the 300 mark entering play. Hold and that misses low and inside. Two balls and no strikes. Hey. And this one's over at the knees. Two, balls, two and one. one strike. One out, nobody on. Popped him up. VR has ruined foul territory. Playing well, there are two guns. Eighth inning here from our nation's capital. Outstanding Nationals lead this one as you get a look at the line score through the first seven and change. Now back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Stepping forward, William Bauer. Fourth trip to the plate now, and he's hitless to this point. Yeah, he and his teammates have really been shut down by some very good pitching in this one. Been fun for a guy like me to watch. No balls in one strike. The wind up and the 0-1. A ball and a strike. Two out, nobody on. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Cubs shortstop with a three and one count. Micah Welch would be next. Line to the right side. He lays out, but he can't make the play, and it's through into right. right Stepping up to the plate, Micah Mike Welch. Well. First delivery to him on the way. Nope. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Pitch on the way. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Correa ranging into the outfield. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Cubs strand one. They still find themselves down. Elvis Butcher comes on to pitch now, now hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Settling in now, Frank Overton. Leading off for the Nationals. Here comes the first pitch. Right. Oh, the miss at a first pitch changeup, nothing in one. Classic case right there of an off-speed pitch, and that hitter's eyes lit up, and that front shoulder went flying. He's got to find a way to keep that thing tough and play with the big part of the field. And it's fouled away. to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. And a pitch down that swung on and sent the second base. Oh, and it sailed right over his head at first. 
Yeah, and when the ball left the bat, you figured it was a routine out, but that's how quickly things can change. As it stands, there's a runner on second base and a base hit away from coming home. Riding into the box, Brian Dozier. He's two for three with a home run and a double. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Avinas ranges He's to his right. And a good throw gets him one gun. First baseman number 33. Now in the box, Jesus Cora. First offering on its way. And he gets under this one as the ball is skied into very shallow right. Avilas takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. And now for Washington, Jonathan Villar. Open three with an RBI in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. Fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Overton on third with two out. Liner toward right center. And that gets down as he can't get there in time. A cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Dan, as a former infielder, I apologize for nothing's more frustrating or upset you more as a defender than making an error and seeing that guy come around the score. It, it, you know what? And that's one of those cases as a pitcher, d -Row, There's not much you can do. Listen, there are physical and there are mental errors, and you just have to, as a pitcher, go ahead and look past that now and try to pick up your teammate and try to get it out any way you can. You could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now a throw over to third, and he'll get back in standing. Two out with the man at first. The 0-2 home. Swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. So one run here on one hit, one Cub error, and a runner left on. And now here's the versatile outfielder, Albert Almora Jr., starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Here comes the first pitch. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. What a well-executed pitch right there. Just a little bit off the corner right there. Got a great hitter to go a little bit outside his zone. Heading out towards shallow right. Chavez is there. One quick out to start inning number nine. Now batting for first base, Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First offering on its way. Ball one. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. Here's a high pop-up. Correa is under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now in the plate, Corey Dickerson. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. 
Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. And he will make the catch to wrap this one up. And the Nationals bounce back from losing the 